Are we going to see Terence Crawford versus Canelo? As I tell before to the ESPN, I give him the offer. If he's smart, he will accept. After Terence Crawford's intense win over Israel, His Excellency Turkey Al Sheikh plans to organize a Crawford versus Canelo showdown. Despite his euphoria, Crawford admitted the fight was tougher than expected. Madrimov's resilience took the match to 12 rounds, a rare experience for Crawford, who usually finishes fights early. Is Canelo Alvarez the fight you want next? Well, you know what I say. If the money's right, we gotta fight. After securing his victory, Crawford is now excited about the prospect of fighting Canelo. He expressed his eagerness to accept any offer for the match without hesitation. However, understanding that Canelo is currently focused on his upcoming fight with Edgar Belanga, Crawford stated that he is willing to wait for now. That's his, that's his fighter, you know. He's going he's gonna to say anything that he can to hype it up. You know, he knows that guy lost and, and so do his team and so do he. Although Terence Crawford won the fight, his quick jump from 147 to 154 was noticeable, raising doubts about moving up to 168 to face Canelo, who is a bigger threat than Madrimov. Crawford acknowledged that even though he fought Madrimov at 154, the Uzbek fighter had the strength of someone at 160. He believes facing Canelo at 168 is a realistic challenge and another milestone in his path to greatness. Madrimov is big. In the amateurs, he fought at a higher weight. Fighting Canelo isn't just about the match. It's another milestone in my career, Crawford said. His Excellency Turkey Al Sheikh confirmed his desire to arrange the fight, claiming to have sent a formal contract to Canelo's team for consideration. And like I told you, I'm going to repeat it one more time. A draw would have been a win for us, so at least he could keep his title. Because he did enough. Okay, let's put it this way. He did enough to walk... Given the minimal weight difference and Ortiz's history of callouts. If Canelo doesn't agree, I want Ortiz, Schick stated at the post-fight conference. Crawford addressed accusations of not being marketable, pointing out the success and opulence of the recent event as proof against such claims. People said I wasn't marketable, but the fans came to see me. We're changing the narrative, Crawford said. He also noted, I'm the last man standing despite all the negativity. Fans and boxing professionals expressed mixed emotions after the event. While many were pleased to see their favorite boxers, others, including Eddie Hearn, criticized the scoring disparities. Hearn, unhappy with the scores of 116 to 112, argued that Madrimov's performance deserved better, highlighting potential bias among the judges. Very close main event, obviously uh, heard what I said. I would say as well, I didn't realize there was two 115, 113s, one 116, 112. I thought there was two 116, 112s. I thought Israel Madrimov did enough to edge it tonight. I know there's the, always the argument of dethroning the champion, whether you think that's a thing or not. You know, I'm not, I'm not sure I felt that Bud Crawford dethroned Israel Madrimov tonight. But what we are is extremely proud of him. Ten fights in and we're debating whether he won a fight against the pound for pound number one. Um, experience would have changed everything. Maybe a little bit more work rate, but it was a fight that we believe we could have edged. Respect to Terence Crawford, he's a great champion, it's nothing against him, but I was just disappointed that, especially one of the judges gave Crawford the last four rounds. The other two judges gave um, Crawford three of the last four rounds and um, thought it could have been. Eddie Hearn commented on Terence Crawford's overall performance, calling it insufficient for a pound for pound champion. He emphasized that despite being the underdog, Madrimov put substantial effort into the fight to prove everyone wrong. I, I felt proud of myself and I think I did enough, like Eddie said. Um, you know, Spence is really good. He's pound for pound best. He's, he's one of the best in the world. Um, he was, uh, he's not an easy fight. You know, he knocked out what, the last 10 opponents he fought, Spence and others, you know, the best in the world. Um, I, didn't, I didn't feel like it was my toughest fight. Uh, you know, there were some questions about how easy I won my world championship uh, belt in my previous fight. 
And I think in this fight I just proved uh, why it was easy then and why I'm a champion and why I deserve to be a champion. Eddie Hearn expressed doubts about Canelo accepting the offer to fight Crawford. He criticized Crawford, stating that if he struggled against a fighter at 154, moving up to 168 to fight a reigning champion is preposterous. It's too much weight for Terence, Eddie said. People might say it was a poor performance from Terence, but it was a great performance from Madrimov. 168 is too big for Terence, but if the money's right, he'll fight. Sharing the sentiment of perceived injustice, Madrimov's trainer Joel Dyers called the decision pre-planned and corrupt, despite Madrimov dominating most rounds. Dyers compared this fight to the Errol Spence Jr. vs. Mikey Garcia bout, suggesting that Crawford won simply because he moved up to 154 to fight a champion. This trash. Don't ever compare Crawford to Canelo again. Shout out young Triple G. He did his I felt he won. At least a draw. F the judges. F you weirdos. You guys suck ass. And f Crawford, you're not pound for pound. Suck a You never fought nobody good. You fought Spence that had a car accident. F you bitch. Despite criticism from Eddie Hearn and Madrimov's coaches, Terence Crawford's team is pleased with his performance. Crawford's coach, BAT, was elated and stated that they would take the Canelo fight if the opportunity and money were right. We can put together a game plan to beat Canelo, he said. The event, marking the debut of Raya's season in America, was star-studded. Former boxer Mike Tyson, set to fight Jake Paul in November, remarked on the tough battle between Crawford and Madrimov. It was a tough, tough fight, Tyson said. American boxer Caleb Plant found the match hard to judge, praising both fighters' efforts and noting Crawford's ability to switch stances. Terence did enough to pull out the victory, Plant said, though he cautioned that fighting Canelo might not be the right move for Crawford now. Having fought Canelo in 2021, Plant noted that Canelo's skills could challenge Crawford, who might be showing signs of rust. Crawford has explosiveness and power, but styles make fights. He needs to be more active, Plant added. Teofimo Lopez also shared his thoughts, suggesting that Crawford's struggle against a relatively inexperienced fighter like Madrimov indicated some rust. Lopez, who has called out Crawford repeatedly, might be reconsidering his plans after witnessing Crawford's performance in this fight. Um, Mr. Matchroom has put up a good fight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, sis. I'm, I'm blocking you up. Yeah, um, do you Maisie. think Crawford looks good at 154 right there, so far? Right there, a little on the side. Yeah, yeah. Crawford, he's, 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 the weight is showing, but Crawford is Crawford. He's handling the weight well, for sure. Um, just based on what you're seeing right now, if he was in there with Canelo, that would be two more weights up. Depending on where he comes in, like 160, 160. Crawford, 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 Crawford. 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 Hey, Devin, would you be surprised? Hey, that a no more, y'all. We got we got we got for us Before the fight, many believed Terence Crawford would easily overpower the young Uzbek fighter and might even win by stoppage. However, the outcome has raised doubts about Crawford's readiness to move to 168 to face someone as skilled and experienced as Canelo. Madrimov despite feeling dejected by the judge's decision, acknowledged Crawford's impressive skills at 154 for the first time. Yet, even Madrimov expressed uncertainty about Crawford moving up to 168 to challenge Canelo.